What is, though, in your control is your life. What is in your control are your values. Now, it, it is true, and I'll say that right up front, that politics affects our values and, and uh, the state of the world, the economic state of the world, the political state of the world is going to affect the scope and the range of the values possible to us. Remember values? Values are a thing one acts to gain or keep. In a rational context, values are the things necessary for your survival as an individual, for your thriving as an individual, for your success, for your flourishing, for life. So the scope of those values, the extent of those values are limited by the context in which we live. And, and again, there's better word, for, 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 for worse, there's little, there's little we can do about that. Much of that is going to be dictated and much of that is going to be determined by people who have very different ideas and very different philosophy than we do. But there is a vast scope of values still accessible to us. Among them is romantic love. And, and I think romantic love is a crucial value. It's one that deserves that you engage in real effort, real focus, real attention to achieve if you have not achieved yet. The value is things one acts to gain or keep. So act to gain it. Don't be passive. Don't be a coward. Go out and get, go out and, and try, go out and make a real effort to gain one of the most important values uh, that is possible for you. <laughs> Faith asks, are you not feeling well? Your energetic self ain't there. Um, it, this is what happens to me in hotels. <laughs> it kind of what happens to me when I'm sitting down and doing the show sitting down. <laughs> It's, um, uh, that's why some people would like me to, to do the show seated because I'm much more calm, much more relaxed, a little bit less energy, but no, I am feeling great. So, uh, it has nothing to do with how I feel. It has more to do with kind of, it's just, everything slows down when you sit down and, uh, and, and being in a hotel and, and being in a font setting, it just, it just changes. I think my Energy is going to ramp up as we get a little bit uh, focused. I, I look a little disheveled. Uh, yeah, well, you know, traveling, traveling. Um, so if you don't yet have a romantic partner, partner and, I, it, you know, and it seems strange to even have to say this, but with the popularity of, I don't know, uh, men going their own way and, and incels and uh, this seems to be particularly a male problem of men uh, wanting to live without uh, without women or, or, or without long-term relationships. Just bizarre. It seems necessary to say, don't give up on one of the great joys of life. Don't give up on what I think is an essential, crucial, maybe not necessary, but crucial value to attaining happiness. Go out and make an effort and try and, and, and engage and, and love. Find someone who shares your values. Find somebody who reflects your values back to you. Find somebody who you can admire and love and cherish and, and spend time with. Don't find a nurse. Is, 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 uh, <laughs> not that anything bad with nurses, but... But, uh, you know, the kind of the Jordan Peterson idea of you've got to find somebody who will help you when times are bad. No, find somebody who will celebrate life with you every single day. Find somebody who you will love to spend the good times with and who will be there for you when times are rough. And if, um, if you already have that relationship, then cherish it, keep it, <laughs> work to keep it. Like all values, it, it doesn't just, it's not just there. It requires effort. It requires attention. It requires focus. It requires thinking, thinking like everything else in life. Right? <laughs> 
it requires actual engagement. Just like everything in life, you can't just go by emotion, by feeling, by... You've got to actually think it through. You've got to actually figure out how to stay engaged, keep your relationship healthy and positive, and moving forward. So it, it, it's hard to, un, to, it's hard to overestimate, it's hard to uh, say um, too much about the value and importance of romantic love in a healthy life, in a uh, happy life, in a successful life, in a long life. So don't give up on it. And again, I know that it's hard. I know that it's hard to find somebody who shares your values. I know that it's hard to find in the world with, with a philosophy so different than yours and ours. It's so hard to find somebody who really you can love, but you, you, you know, there's no option but to try and fight and search and keep trying. And the world is vast enough that there's a good chance you will find somebody. They don't have to be an objectivist. They don't have to agree with you on everything. But they have to reflect some fundamental, important values, your sense of life, something they have to reflect back where you are. Right? Not being alone. And that's true of love, but it's also true of friendship. I know too many objectivists who think that a friendship is in chat groups and in, um, uh, in Facebook, that friendship is Facebook. Uh, friends are incredibly valuable. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, today is a day to remember, to love, to befriend, to pursue your values. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.